I one of the big learnings I have is we consciously or unconsciously undermine our kids' abilities or our, or our team members' abilities without knowing. And sometimes we need to get more conscious at this. For example, let's say someone tells you, oh, get ready, things are going to get harder. Oh, that, that performance goal is so hard to achieve. Oh, no one passes that test. Or whatever that thing is that someone tells you, or the media always representing mostly bad news all the time, even though there's lots of good news, and representing numbers in a pretty bad way about how things are so bad with teenagers, how things are so uh, bad in terms of performance, site, site issues or team issues or whole host of things, people misrepresent a lot without knowing. And so as leaders and as um, adults in our family, we are responsible for making sure that we look at situations as they are. We do not go with the hype. We tell the right story. And the biggest way you can do this is by holding a really, really high bar for your kids and for your teams. If you hold a really high bar, you'd be surprised how many times your kids or your team members would surprise you by even achieving those goals that were very hard for them. I have seen it multiple times in my teams when goals that are much harder to achieve are achieved because the leader has a strong conviction in the goals that can be achieved. It provides a sense of resilience. The kids would go out of and above their comfort zone. The team members would go above their comfort zone, but it depends on a pretty big way for the leader, for the adult in the house, to have that strong sense of conviction and always having a high bar for achievement. It doesn't mean that they would not um, feel the sense of belonging when they don't achieve those results. It's just that we believe that higher goals are achievable. And it's very important for us to have the screening when we see misrepresentations from media, from friends, from peers, to go to our kids, to our team members, because it's, it's harming, it's not real. A lot of times those numbers are not represented well. So focusing on the right picture is the role of the adult, is the role of the leader. And focusing on building strengths is another big role of the leader. So instead of fixing issues and weakness, we all have issues and weakness, and some of those issues need to be addressed. But the better approach is to have positive enrichment of strengths that are working. So strength building is a big focus area and making sure that we do not misrepresent our teams uh, because of someone characterizing something is very, very important. And holding a really high bar helps with this because there's someone who believes in them, someone who um, knows that that goal is achievable or um, someone who tells them how important is it to care for other people is what they'll look up to. They will, they will surprise you. They will most, most of the time be able to reach those goals. But it's a very important factor for the leader to keep in mind to, to avoid shaming, especially when those goals, at least the early part of the goals are not reached. When we fail at certain projects, when we don't achieve certain results, Avoid shaming, calling people out, frightening them with uh, with punishments or issues. Kids don't like it. Team members don't like it. It's not the right thing. You're not treating yourself ma well as a manager or a leader or an adult because you are now stressed out. You're not doing the right thing as well for your body and for your mental health. So provide face-saving chances all the time. Take, take the issues on yourself as leaders. Uh, when certain goals are not met, do not call out people. That was the biggest learning I've had in this, in this chapter that I read. So two big key, key takeaways. Do not have media, friends, peers misrepresent what the reality is. And there's a book called Factfulness, which came out recently. Also goes into the depths of how things are not characterized well and that there's so much good happening. But, but this is an important learning for me. So don't let others 
undermine your child's resilience or your team member's resilience. In all ways, hold a high bar and avoid shaming and frightening and punishments. Just focus on teaching, counseling, education. Because at the end of the day, kids and your team members, they are trying to understand, am I normal? Am I achieving all the expectations? And if they have a genuinely caring adult or a genuinely caring leader who sets a really high positive bar and is investing in them, they'll, they'll be fine. They will, they will surprise you. Just as leaders and adults, just don't be busy looking for failures, looking for issues uh, and downsides from all the news that comes out. It's your role to filter out all of those misrepresentations and ensure that your team is protected, your child's safe, and they are constantly working on improving their strengths. Thank you.